You know, the last several weeks have not been easy. Many of us now weathering the financial fallout of COVID-19. Well, tonight, some are still wondering about the location of their stimulus check, while others are wondering what to do with the stimulus that arrived for someone who had already died. But our Amira David is working to get you answers with The Rebound Detroit. Amira? Carol and Dave, there's been a lot of confusion from our viewers on what to do if stimulus money was sent to their deceased loved ones. One Allen Park man reached out to us to ask what to do with it. Do you have to return it? So I went digging for answers. We went in the mailbox and we found a check. This $1,200 stimulus check, the last thing Mike Navoy thought he would find when cleaning out his mother's mail. That's because his mother, Margaret, passed away in February highlighting a major error as the government works fast to get stimulus checks into the hands of 150 million Americans. But the stimulus is to help people get through the crisis, and she's not in the crisis. The IRS is supposed to check death records before okaying payments, but sometimes there's a lag in the reporting. So Metro Detroiters, including the children and spouses of the deceased, have been emailing us to ask, what should we do? You know, naturally, we'd like the money but um, we're not gonna cash the check until we get the absolute go ahead. Initially, tax experts said next of kin would likely keep the money based on precedent set by the Bush administration, which also sent checks to the deceased during a stimulus boost amidst the 2008 financial crisis. But last week, Treasury Department Secretary Steve Mnuchin took a different stance, saying the money would have to be returned, telling 7 Action News, we will be issuing guidance shortly. But for the IRS to get the job done, tax expert Leon Lebrecht says it would be a huge undertaking. How on earth are they going to do this? They just they have absolutely no resources to do this. They're, they're too busy doing everything else. And there's another potential legal hiccup. As I understand, the CARES Act stipulates that money does not need to be returned. Is that right? That's the weird part that's in there. There appears to be a provision in the law that says if the IRS oversends you the money, they don't, you don't have to give it back. That said, the Breck says you should refrain from using the cash until further notice, which Mike says he plans to do. I don't know where we would send it back, so we're just going to hold it. So here's the rebound rundown. Checks to the deceased are expected to be returned. Guidance on how to do that has not yet been released. So avoid spending the money for now. And ironically, while Mike has his mother's unusable check in hand, his own stimulus check has yet to arrive. We do want to remind you that you can track your stimulus at irs.gov slash coronavirus. Carolyn? Wow, Amir, so much uncertainty. Now, you mentioned the Treasury Department is expected to issue guidance on this, but uh, do we have any idea on, on whether there could be penalties associated with not returning that money? That's a great question. Uh, the short answer is that it's still unclear. Uh, we have not yet seen that happen. It hasn't happened in the past when stimulus was disbursed in 2008 and 2009, and it's unclear how this administration could choose to handle it. So stick with us on air and online. We're gonna bring you the updates as soon as we get them. All right, great advice as always, Amir, and we'll certainly stick with you on this. Thank you much. Dave?